What's up guys, Matt here, and today I'm doing a review of the Panasonic Leica 8-18mm to lens. Let's dive right in. So before I get into this review, just know that this is not going to be a super technical mumbo jumbo review. This is going to be the practicality of this lens and what it's used for compared to other lenses out there. And something that you can really use before you buy something like this. And this lens is going to cost you over a thousand dollars. You might be able to get a deal on it, maybe buy it used or you can rent it first to try it out, but it is definitely a hefty purchase. I think it's well worth it depending on what you're doing with it. Now the main reasons I got this lens was because I needed something for real estate and something that could give me that wide angle look. Because when you're taking pictures and doing videos for real estate, you want something that's really wide, that's gonna show off a house and make it look bigger than it appears. And that's really challenging to do with a micro four thirds camera. The two main big competitors in the wide angle lens game for Micro Four Thirds is the Olympus 7-14 and this Leica 8-18. Now the big difference as you need to know is that the Olympus is obviously a little bit wider and it also keeps its constant aperture at an f2.8 whereas this is only a 2.8 at the 8mm range. Now this may be a deal breaker for you, before you make that decision there are a few other things you need to know. On the Olympus, you cannot put a polarizer or a filter on the lens. The glass is too wide up front. Now you can get boxes that go in front of your lens, but they're bulky, heavy, and they, it's gonna cost you more money for them. Much more convenient with the Leica lens, so just throw a polarizer on there. Now if you shoot video, that's a pretty big deal. You wanna throw a polarizer on as, as much as you can. And it's also just a layer of protection for your glass. You know, you're, you're gonna spend a thousand dollars on this thing. You're gonna wanna throw some protection on it. The 8-18 lens is also a much smaller and lighter lens than the Olympus is. So it's something to keep in mind if you want to factor in size and weight. Now let's talk about how this lens actually looks and performs. I've used this lens on multiple professional shoots for real estate photo and video and it definitely does the job. It really gives you that wide look for the Micro Four Thirds line while keeping that size and weight down. Now if you're going to compare the 8-18 to the 12-60 for real estate or anything that you want to go wide on, the 8-18 is definitely going to give you that extra push for wide angle and I think it's really necessary if you're doing professional work and you need that wide angle look. Now it does a great job of not distorting your image in the corners like most wide angle lenses do. It is overall pretty flat, however I have taken a few pictures at the widest range of 8mm and it kind of makes some of the horizontal lines curve a little bit, you can see in this example here. But it's nothing too crazy, and I don't think it's super distracting for most photos. As far as videos go with this lens, it does a great job. I usually only shoot with it at the 8mm range. However, it is nice to have that extra range in your arsenal if you do need to zoom in. Now let's take a look at this compared to the 12-60 to lens. So this is what it would look like if you were vlogging with the lens. It's obviously pretty wide as you can see here. Um, I'm holding my arm out fully extended for this look and I mean it's really wide. Even when you walk around it's not too distorted. I mean this is honestly probably the perfect vlogging lens. Alright so now I'm shooting with the 12 to 60 millimeter lens and you can obviously tell it is not as wide but it definitely does the job for vlogging and stuff like that. I'm holding it fully extended right here and um, hopefully you can get a look of what it's like compared to the 8 to 18 millimeter lens. So overall, I think that the Leica 8 to 18 millimeter lens is one of the best wide angle lenses you can get for the Panasonic cameras. However, you're going to have to weigh out the pros and cons. It was a tough decision for me. I ended up going with this 8-18 lens mainly because I love to have that extra layer of protection with the filters to put on the cameras. And I shoot a lot of video, so the polarizers are definitely nice to be able to throw on here. Nice and easy design. I hope this video helps you guys decide what lens to go with if you're kind of on the edge on which wide angle lens to get. It's definitely a big decision to make because they're all pretty expensive. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you could drop this video a like, I'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys in the next one. Come.